Hello and welcome to another session from uh, trainingright.com. Today we'll be talking about uh, automation testing. Uh, what is automation testing? What is the need for the automation testing? And um, who are the candidates to perform the automated testing? Now, uh, if you are new to the testing um, area, then you you might be wondering as uh, uh, what is automated testing and how do you do that? Now, uh, to walk you through uh, what is automated testing, I'm going to um, go over um, a scenario and then give an example of uh, uh, why do we need automated testing. And then I'm going to walk you through how do you do that. And then um, at the end of the presentation, I'm going to um, go over a very powerful uh, framework uh, which I've created, which will uh, hopefully clear all uh, the doubts and all the um, everything you need to know about uh, the automated testing would hopefully would get clear uh, after looking at that demo. All right, for now, um, let us talk about the scenario. And the scenario here is, let's say if I have to um, do the testing of this application. Um, I've been hired by this company and I've been told that, okay, you have to test the functionality here. The functionality is something like this. They claim that uh, they can provide uh, health insurance in 11 minutes. Uh, what do they mean by that is uh, um, the uh, you as as a shopper uh, you would like to know who are the different providers who um, can provide me with health insurance uh, for uh, for an individual and a family uh, in 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 a certain zip code so you're gonna enter the zip code in here and let's say you hit go and once you do that, it's going to ask you for some information. It is saying that, okay, uh, if you are an applicant, um, uh, give me your gender, who you are, and uh, give me your date of birth. So uh, let's make believe that we enter some information here, 1-1-19-81. One, one, uh, uh, am I a tobacco user? Uh, I guess not. Uh, are you a college student? No, I am not. So I'm going to hit go. And uh, it's going to search and then it's going to come back uh, with, uh, here it is, it, it came back with, uh, there are 87 plans which are available um, in that uh, zip code area. And uh, uh, the lowest uh, uh, monthly uh, fee you have to pay for the insurance for one applicant um, is $44.09. Now, it is giving you a range of uh, service providers. Um, uh, in that zip code. All right. So, so far, so good. Um, the application is working fine. Now, but it's not just uh, you would be testing it for one uh, zip code. Uh, what if, if you have been given like uh, 50 zip codes or for that matter, um, 200 zip codes? So what are you going to do? You will come here. You will enter that information. Let's try with a different zip code. One zero 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 one. Uh, I guess it's uh, a zip code in uh, Manhattan, New York. Uh, so I'm going to hit go, and it is asking me to enter some information. I'm going to uh, enter information, say mail, and uh, let's say my date of birth is uh, that. Um, and I, I'm not a tobacco, uh, tobacco user. I'm not a college student. So um, I could also go with the option of, okay, if I want to ensure my uh, spouse um, that is going to be uh, let's say one one nineteen uh, let's make her a little younger uh, here it is and then it go so it is going to search and it's going to come back and it says that okay we have found like sixteen plans for you for as low as four hundred fourteen dollars and ninety three cents okay so so far manually we have tested for two zip codes and with two different combinations the first time i have tested with uh, one applicant this time i've tested with two applicants uh, likewise if you go back uh, there's a different combination of uh, of input parameters which could go into this application so what we are talking about here is if you have been asked to test it and if you're a manual tester you have different combinations going into the, into the application so 
um, let's say here is my this is my application this is my application and uh, my application is uh, will be having um, so many inputs going into it so my input here is the zip code and uh, along with that I have the applicant uh, gender and uh, plus if there are more applicants so that's that's the data which is going into into the system and what it is providing me is an output which happens to be the total number of plans um, along with uh, my monthly payment all right okay now uh, we have tested for two combinations now imagine that there are 2000 combinations how are you going to test it it's practically almost uh, not possible or not cost effective it's not efficient so uh, a better way would be we make use of some automated tools so what kind of automated tools would you be using now in the industry today one of the most popular automated tool is QTP um, it's an HP product what it does is uh, you could be writing uh, your scripts in it every automated tool um, needs to be programmed you need to write some script in it and so the script which you'll be writing in QTP would be uh, VB script now there are uh, there are some other tools as well there's something called selenium now as a part of our uh, courses here um, in, in our QA package uh, we teach you QTP and we teach you selenium uh, selenium uses uh, either Java or there are um, many other programming languages which you could be using in Selenium. There's something uh, C# you could be using. You could be using Perl. You could be using Python. You could be using Ruby on Rails. So there are many languages which go in Selenium. But the topic of the day is uh, okay QTP because I want to show you how uh, we could be writing a script, how we could be using an automated uh, a tool which is QTP and uh, provide all those different combinations. 2,000 combinations as we talked about or, or any number of combinations so those combinations is nothing but that's the test data so your your QTP is going to read the test data and then that test data could come from from either from a, a database or it could come from uh, an Excel Excel spreadsheet or it could come from uh, let's say in XML data source so we don't care where the data is coming from so QTP is going to read that data and it is going to input the data on your behalf into this into this e-health application or for that matter any any app and then basically we will get some output so QTP is going to read these outputs and they and we could log those outputs again back into our database or back into any repository all right so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you a demo of that so here is my QTP and what I have done in here is I've written a script in here in in VB script as you can see here um, we have to provide the zip code and we have to provide the gender of the primary insurer and his date of birth and uh, and uh, you know that kind of information so what I have done is I have kept that information into an Excel sheet so here is my Excel sheet I have all of these zip codes in here and I'm trying different combination even though we talked about 2000 um, but I have about like 10 or 11 here that will make the point in this in this demo I mean I could pretty much duplicate this and uh, start to make this uh, Excel file uh, much uh, bigger uh, that will prove the point that it could go up to 2,000 or 20,000 or 200,000 for that matter right okay so here is the gender so these are the input parameters which will be going into uh, through or via the QTP into the application and then what we expect is the application should be returning back 
some information back to us. The information is we found, you know, 17 plants, 116 plants, whatever, depending on what kind of zip codes and what kind of information we provide in. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just uh, clean it up so that we could run these tests right now and see how it works. And uh, um, basically, this is a very powerful framework which I have developed. And then you would be learning as how to uh, develop something like that so that you you could be using it in, in any scenario. So uh, what I have here is um, even though these are the different sets of data, uh, but there could be a, a, a possibility that you might not want to execute every every set of data. So here are some conditions. Okay, I want to execute or I do not want to execute uh, the first one, the second one, or I want to do the third one. Likewise, so randomly you, you, you are saying yes or no to these different sets of data which you need to execute. And here's the script which is going to basically going to read the information from the Excel. So I've given the path to the Excel where, wherever I have stored that Excel sheet. So this is my Excel sheet and I have stored it uh, into um, into this folder which is uh, um, QTP on my C drive. There's a folder called QTP learning and in that QTP learning I have stored um, that uh, uh, and that's the path to that. So that's the path to that. So I wanted to read that. And once it reads, I wanted to go and then look into the column of the first row eight. Start start with the first row, go to the eight column and see if there is a yes. Or for that matter, if there is any time it goes into it and if there is a yes, I, I wanted to perform these actions. So let's uh, run this and let's see how it works. Now, uh, before I do that, I I would like you to take a look at the fact that even though this script might look like a um, little overwhelming to you right now but uh, we as a part of our course uh, we are going to uh, go step by step and I'm going to walk you through every line of code in fact we will be building it as we go ahead in that course uh, so here it is. It's um, it had read the Excel file. Now it is entering the information. Now the first information it had entered is uh, was some zip code, uh, and then it is trying to find out you know what's going on. Okay, here we are. We have 17. Um, and I I had given an instruction here that okay as you perform any test you you uh, print it out. So it ran uh, test number four. And then it found out some information about the test number four, and uh, that's what we have. And this is still not in Excel. This is still in uh, uh, the print dialog uh, of QTP. Um, but the test is still going on uh, right now. It is performing for a different zip code, and it is entering some different combination of uh, uh, data. And then it is computing. The system uh, goes comes back with the information, and here we have. So we have, as you can see here, I have ran. Uh, test number four, test number three. You might be wondering what happened to five or six or one or two or three. Well, if you recall, uh, while showing that Excel sheet, I have told you that uh, uh, you could you could test with any set of data by saying yes or no. So I am testing for all those set of data where I have said to execute the test as yes. So. Uh, randomly, I have I have done it um, on on some of the rows, and that's basically what it is doing. So row number four, uh, so that was the, imagine that was the test data uh, for four and seven and nine. So behind the scenes, it is as you can watch here, as you can watch here, it is reading the Excel file, it is getting the data from there, then it feeds that data into this application. Now the data which it is feeding is what I have told it to feed, which is uh, the zip code. And then here it goes very fast, but it, it, it enters uh, the gender and the date of birth. Uh, and uh, you might be wondering that we are entering uh, female and, and, and the same data. It's not necessarily. Once uh, the test is completed, I'm going to take you back into the Excel sheet to show you what are the different um, tests we have executed. And there you go. Uh, we have um, finished those tests. We have like four tests which we have uh, completed. And uh, if you take a look into the Excel, sheet you would find that um, here is here is the information which we have and this is uh, uh, it ran test number four seven nine and twelve 
and if you open the Excel sheet we could see that information in here and um, hopefully here it is uh, the information is uh, for this zip code with a combination of mail and uh, uh, these were the settings it passed that test we have 17 plans starting as 233 likewise it did this that and that that's only because all those had yeses and the others had no so um well that's what it is folks so that's uh, uh, a very powerful framework that is uh, uh what is called data driven framework and uh that's how you do automation testing and uh in our course uh, we will be doing everything like that um so as a part of our learning um with trainingright.com uh, courses uh, you will notice that we will be doing all such automation using uh uh, QTP as well as uh, Selenium. Thank you for your time and uh, we hope to see you back on a, a different video. Thank you.